Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to update your Samsung Epic 4G from stock EI22 Gingerbread to stock EL30 Gingerbread using an update zip. So how to manually update your Samsung Epic to the latest uh, version EL30. This will remove carrier IQ. So this is a big deal. Sprint has decided to remove carrier IQ with this with this build. So what you're gonna first need to do is obviously make sure you're on stock EI22 gingerbread, go to menu, settings, scroll down, go to about phone. As you can see right there, build number gingerbread EI22, which is the latest as of yesterday. Today the latest is now EL30. But now click on the link in the description of the video below, take you to the AC Syndicate website. I went ahead and posted a download link from Google servers for you guys. Um, as you can see right there, EI22 to EL30 update zip. Click on this download link right here. Just click on this link, it'll download it. It'll be a zip file. All you have to do is go to that zip file. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. As you can see, the download will look like this. What you're gonna need to do is rename it to just update. So just hit update and then hit enter. And it says I already have a file renamed update, so I'm just gonna hit yes. Now I'm gonna find my update file. Actually, what I'll do is I'll rename it once I transfer it over. So now, just rename it to update. Don't worry about this ending part. Uh, your extension might not show, so it might not show that zip. But now go ahead and plug in your Epic into your PC. So plug it on in, and we're gonna need to mount it as a storage drive because we're gonna need to transfer contents onto its SD card. So I'll just go to mass storage, connect PC storage, and then it should pop up on your PC once it connects. As you can see, uh, opens up this, you know that it's mounted, I'm gonna exit out of it, and I'm, all I'm gonna do is transfer this update file over to my SD card. So transfer it on over to my removable disk. So it's gonna go ahead and transfer on over to my SD card. Shouldn't take too long, the update file isn't all that large since it's only minor updates. Uh, the main one being removing carrier IQ, of course. But now what I'm gonna do is go to my removable disk and rename that file, obviously. Um, I already have a file on there called update zip. That is my uh, actual EC05 to EI22 update zip. So now I'm just gonna say EC05 EI22 update zip. I'm gonna rename it to that and just rename this one which is the EI22 to EL30 to update.zip. So there we go, now I'm ready to go. I can right click on this and hit eject, and then go ahead and go back to my Epic 4G and disconnect it, and we are ready to go. So now go ahead and all you're gonna need to do is power off your Epic 4G. So let it power on down. And now that my device has powered down, we're gonna to need to go into our stock recovery. To do so, press and hold volume down, camera button and power button at the same time. All three of them, press and hold. Keep it held down, I press and hold till the bottom backlit keys light up. So like so, and then I can go ahead and let go, and it should take me into my stock Android recovery, which it did, as you can see right up here. Android System Recovery 3E. So now what you're gonna need to do is go down to Apply Update from SD Card, just press the Volume Down button once, and then press the Home button to select it. So press the Home button to select it, and now it'll take you to your SD card. Now you just have to navigate to that Update Zip. So find that file, that Update Zip, that is on your SD card. Mine is right here, it's called Update Zip, and press the Home button again to select it. So select Update Zip. And now as you can see, it'll go ahead and install that update package. It won't take as long as usual updates do. It's, it's not a very big update file. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install. Just be patient with it. It'll update your modem, it'll update your file system, etc. So I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it, it said install from SD card complete and just went ahead and rebooted my phone. It took a little longer than usual, so be patient with the install, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up. It will probably take longer to boot up than usual. Um, so let's go ahead and see. I'm sure the uh, boot animation will be the exact same. As you can see, same exact boot animation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up and once it does, I'll, I will show you I am on EL30 on my Samsung Epic 4G. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. No, diff no major differences at the moment. I'm gonna hit menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and it has updated it to Android version uh, 2.3.6, as you can see, firmware version 2.3.6, 
which is the uh, basically the latest gingerbread version. Obviously, the Nexus S4G has 2.3.7, but that's only for the Nexus S4G. Anyways, as you can see, baseband version EL30, new uh, modem, and build number gingerbread EL30. So that would be the latest gingerbread EL30. I am now on the latest version of gingerbread. No uh, significant differences. I'll be doing a separate review video going over this update, so definitely be sure to watch that. I'll link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, that's it. That's how you update your Samsung Epic 4G to the latest EL30 gingerbread to Android 2.3.6 on your Samsung Epic 4G. If you have any problems, let me know. Leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.